kept thinking of something outside, but then it was telling me go back. And interesting, though. Very interesting. Alright, let's jump over. Hopefully that doesn't break. I saw that Whoa. coming. Oh god. Whoa. Um, Delilah, there's smoke coming from the site. I, mean, I just climbed out of there and the bridge collapsed. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. What? I didn't do that. <sighs> what do we do? Uh, called in it. We just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. At least call it in, though. Day 77. Oh, boy. Going up in numbers. Who is listening to us? Making all types of notes now. Wait. This receiver just picked something up. Like a signal? It's yep. going beep beep. Yeah, what could it be? Beep, beep. I don't know. You gotta find out. Yep. Alright, I'm on my way now. Go find out. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno Tequila from the creek. <laughs> Are you drunk? No! I am getting drunk! At a bad time. Hey, D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? Oh, God. You're harsh in my vibe. My uh, thinking is, I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. Okay, so it's both these like trails re we lead to the there. same way. My thinking is, I'm going to follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. Ay ay ay. Actually, though. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Radio off. What? That's a bad idea. Why would you turn it off? Wait, am I even going the right way? Oh, bruh. Now it's telling me to go back up. It says that way? What is over there? Which way am I facing? West? Ah, oh, so technically I should be able to get there. From this route, across the lake, go past the tree, and then go past. Okay, yeah. Back to that cottonwood field, and then keep going past that. It should take me to where it needs to go. I think there's two routes that I could have gone for this one, but I chose this route. Still don't think turning off the radio is a smart idea. Even if you don't respond, you took the most piss difficult path. Oh my god. Yeah, that's what I kind of thought <laughs> after I went, because at first I thought it was like right around... I I thought it was south, but then I was already too far, and I was like, you know what? If I go the other way, it's just going to take even more time, so I stuck with this path. <laughs> okay. God. Wait, so is it... 
It's right there. But now I have to get up there. There we go. We're getting there. We are getting there. I still think something's gonna happen right here. Getting faster. And there's a backpack Shit. with the camera on it. Ah! ah! You suck. Uh, can we just like move the bag first? Four fifty-two. Oh wait, that's a key. D, I, I found some sort of supply bag to the light. Camping the cave. Gear, some clothes, and basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yes. Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. <laughs> Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you? It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm oh going. god. Alright. Wait, I'm looking at it. I've got you now, buddy. That was literally like three seconds ago. You can there's no way you could escape. Only problem is he's probably going to Spooky. Hey. What? There's no I way. Don't see anyone up here. She was just there. There's no possible way. It was literally like three seconds ago. Unless if he's hiding in here. Oh, tape. Oh, great. There we go. They're gonna frame them. It's a tape of us talking down at the site. Sounds like it was reported from somewhere Very spooky. Nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No! Dee, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, Henry? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so the next day. It was 77, now it's 78. Oh boy. We're getting there. Drink? Henry and oh. Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um. So I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. All right, we don't forgot have it. a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, all right, when let's out of here. It's gonna be in handcuffs. That's fine. We just we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight from the first day with those girls to the 
person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. What a wild ride. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Especially with everything this dude's gone through, Henry. And now there's people out here listening in on him. Unless if she's part of the whole thing. Oh, wrong way. Uh, yeah, we need to go north. Okay, yeah. Almost took the longest way again. We got this, though. Sweet. At least it's daytime. And we're not just going down this cave, or about to go down this cave at night. Keep moving. Hey, you... You didn't actually make that call, what? right? Why would he actually do that? Lookout? It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. What? Of course I didn't. No way. They're just, they're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not going to happen, though. Thanks, Henry. All right. It's the key. Knock, knock. We're coming in. They got the axe. All right. Nothing else to do, but then just run into it. I don't like this. Ah. <laughs> it's not even that bad. But I don't like that. It's freezing. Okay, just shut behind you. Did it? Oh god. Oh wait a minute. A shoe. Anybody down there? Hello? You know, it's funny, my girlfriend just watched a movie recently about something like this. It was a Netflix movie, and these people, they go into the cave, and when they go into the cave, um, if you go outside, every second, if you see, if you're in the cave and you look up, you see flashing light. Every second in the cave is a year on the surface. And it has a crazy turn. Okay. So we got out the cave. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing. Absolutely yeah, nothing. Someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus. So, so you didn't find anything? No. Th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that uh, double as an anchor to use in the spot. I just found a hideout. I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah. He the... built himself a real castle. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. Brian Goodwin, you're dead. <laughs> Ready, Kruger? Interesting. Oh, no. no. No, no, Keep it on you. Yeah, hold. He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. Up that. There's a busted old toy out here. Some sort of electronic game. Ah. I'll drop yeah. it. Wait, I want to look at it. I like Pong. Everybody likes Pong. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. Well, 
Maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. There's some grade A dork contraband here. You found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, uh. a data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half elf armor seven. Classic wizards and How old was this kid? Huh. Or new to range. stole his dad's climbing gear, his anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was going to hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Postcard. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. I mean, Wait, what is this? It sounds like Ned was pushing him and pretending to lose his oh, nice. was the easiest way to put a stop to it. <sighs> I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. Bunch of rocks stacked up. You made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that's that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, Wait, sorry. There's one more thing. Old pillow. He made the place pretty comfy too. That's an achievement. Yeah, at the expense of what are probably stolen pillows. <laughs> that little shit. Alright, let's keep going. Can we go down there? Oh wait. Drive so Pitten into the rock. I never told you, or anyone, about Brian. In regards to him being out here, you know, being against the rules. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. Hmm. I lied and just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was going to bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. Ugh, dude, his ankles and his legs are going to... Ugh, he's not young either. I hate seeing him jump down like that. Oh, uh, also, those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Oh, Nobody well, that's did. good. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride. Let's down deeper and, into the uh, cave. Are we going jail. back to that? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, which way? Are... It's. Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. You uh, dodged a bullet there. Yeah, uh, so it's unanswered shit to answer for I southwest say. for me and that's southwest okay good so we are going the correct way right yep okay just want to make sure what do you think is in there What do you think? Really. I mean, we gotta find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. I mean, they closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? Uh, did we open you... this one? Cut, are you sure you want to go back in there? Yeah, we did. Uh... Honestly, I just... I just want to know. I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. Yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice kicker. Exactly. Have you been taking pictures with your camera? Yeah, I've taken some. Uh, I think it's there was like twenty or something. I had thirteen left. All right, let's throw that in there. I'm going to try to use all of them at least. Hello.
Drop down again. And again. Okay. Uh. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, the kid with the shoe. Are you. Oh, God. Oh, that's messed up. I'm running a good one. Oh, shit. God. Poor kid. Damn. Poor fucking kid. Damn. Wait, is that... Okay. I feel like I shouldn't take a picture of that, but at the same time, I feel like he should have proof if somebody ever needs it. So... There's some proof. Maybe that's why they wouldn't. Wait, why would somebody hide that though? I don't know, so many questions. It's a lot bigger of a cave than I was expecting. up again and back down all right oh okay it's at the very it's the entrance all right let's report it to her uh, I guess we'll go up here too smoke hey D Uh, hey, you um might want to take a seat. I've been sitting this entire time. I'm almost always sitting. W what's what's wrong? The only thing in the cave was a body. A body? God, what a mess! Delilah, it's Brian Goodwin. <sighs> Gotta be fucking kidding me! How does that? <clears throat> what? I don't. Well, he fell. Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I think, think it was an accident. What it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave, and and maybe his rope gave out. But whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about him. Hopefully. What do we do now, D? I mean, are you okay? No. I'm not. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... there's... there's nothing to say. The hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. Day 79. Oh boy. Where is it going to go from here? Who knows? Pack up belongings. Alan and Dave. In person. You see that plane? Uh, well, no, I heard I was it. Just busy packing up. Well, there's going to be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Well, is this the flapjack fire or the site fire or? Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. Oh. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't That's great. We talk for a sec, you know, about things. About what? About what happened to Brian. I don't have much to say. 
I'm fine. I'm sad. I'm whatever. I keep thinking about him down there, and I just want to get far away from here. What can I do? We just have to wait for the helicopters. Okay. Save for later. Until then, could you follow that signal? Maybe. Holy crap. Slam. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could Slow also be that. whoever was listening to us. Who, whoever made the tape. Okay. Yeah. Um. Look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. All right. Look, if if something happens, I'll remember you. I was hoping you'd have a plan. I was hoping you'd have a backup plan or something. <laughs> yeah, um, okay, I'm probably gonna move to Canada. Ontario, maybe. No, I meant <laughs> if something happens to me. Right, if you don't find out who made the tape and I have to hit the road. <sighs> Forget it. Be oh safe, Harry. Uh, okay, I think we are good. Actually, wait, why would we leave that? Okay, now we're good. Oh boy. All right, well, it's time to get where, wherever it's going. Let's see here. That's that way west, which is going to be towards the Cash 306. Yeah, Jonesy Lake. Let's see. Okay. Starting to get a little bit faster. It's gonna be on the other side of this. What's your status? I think I'm getting close. You sound worried. No, it's... it's just... Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. Alright. Getting faster. Wait a minute. Yeah, hi, Henry. Hey, you better find this before it burns up. We've been causing each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave for Croc's sake. Okay, so that was Ned. I've been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. Winters are harsh as hell, and I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up, and Delilah, she's a she's a record you don't gotta flip. I kind of get why Brian took to her. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out, and that's right when everything went shit house with you two. <laughs> you guys.
guys don't know anything about having kids. All right? Nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down a lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just... He just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. Okay. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and... I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us. Just him. Ned Goodwin. He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone. He's deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. The because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. You can do it He's on purpose, a, a, though, a obviously. He's got a survival bunker with radios and everything. He made it all up. He, you need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. Hike north for evacuation. All right. Sec. Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site. He wrote down everything he did to us. And everything he did every day. He was scared shitless. I bet. He's taking everything. Workbench. You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. <sighs> this boombox looks familiar. He's mm, rigging up I stolen see. batteries to keep his stuff going. There's all this stuff from uh, the other location too. He had quite the view. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. We're in the middle. I'm of just a telling you stuff right now. Twenty-two thousand acres and growing fast. All right. <laughs> Take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. You're not? I don't know. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, so we're going to be heading northeast. Guess to left here. Yeah, okay. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. I remember this little pathway before we came up. Okay. Start rappelling down. Sneak ahead north now. What a mess this became. But come on, grab the rope. There we go. Why do I feel like? Somebody's gonna come around, cut the rope, and then be like, I can't let anybody know what happened. Alright, glad that didn't happen though. <laughs> can't even see them. I know oh, yeah. I should be relieved. 
there's no evidence of us starting that fire. Relieved that we're not crazy. That there wasn't some conspiracy. But I'm not. He was a sweet kid. With a shitty father who hid out here like a coward after dumping him in a hole. I think... I think that Ned loved him. I don't want to hear it. He, he obviously didn't want to forget him. He just didn't know what to do. Henry, not knowing what to do isn't okay. When you're supposed to look after someone, you... You figure it out. Yes. And Ned Goodwin is a shithead who is incapable of figuring anything out. Uh, this way. I'm sorry. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. You didn't do anything wrong. You said it yourself. It was Ned's job to look after it. Yes, right. I did. Good. And now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there so they can retrieve the body or not. And if I do, I'm going to be asked about Ned Goodwin. <laughs> the... Oh, fuck. Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. Hey. No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Okay, uh, one second. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think I'm gonna go with them. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. Yeah? I mean, it's dangerous here, and, and if anything were to happen, then that would be on me, so. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, um, you sure that's okay? I said it was. All right, um, I should go. Have a safe flight. All right, have a safe hike. <laughs> okay. How close are we? We're getting there. Jeez. This poor field, man. Do the music. spot I couldn't even realize that's where I was at because of uh, the location and everything or I mean the uh, the fire here we are thinking it was so much more than it actually was it was just Ned That was probably her flight. They never really got into where she was staying at though, but I guess she had a pretty good review or good view. Oh, wait. <laughs> I guess they just found out. Wait, uh, do I take this? Oh, okay, yeah. Hey, I'm at the evac spot near the ravine. Delilah, are you there? Nah, I don't think she is. Delilah? Alright, let's get in. Nope. So sketchy. 
but okay. Oh, nice. Have a good time. <laughs> Interesting pathway. All right, so are we gonna hang out here until they come? Hit us or something. Pick up drawing. Got tequila. Thank you. Radio headset. Hello? Is anybody there? Red, Colorado plates. Yeah. Yep, that's it. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> hey, that's a man's pickup you're talking about. I think there might be a raccoon living in it. Make sure he's comfy, I guess. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's <laughs> a debrief in a situation like this. Instead of Jeff. Lots of questions. Ah, shit. So, taking stock. We found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one fire. Basically started another. Oh, there's the pork pond okay, so sign. That's a wash. Uh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I don't know what's next. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me, and I'll choose for you. <laughs> All right, sure. Um, maybe... Uh... Maybe move to Santa Fe. Open a Jade Emporium with your sister. I'd be trading cute ski bombs for yoga retreat hippies, but maybe that's not all bad. Plus the margarita situation? I mean, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so what about me? I think you should go to Julia. And then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. I, um... Yeah. You gotta go see her. you so it's Perry, asking. I, look you came out to put your memories behind you and they're still right there in front of you you're right I mean yeah you gotta at least see you're right good when I get back maybe I could um we shouldn't focus on this summer next year we'll roll around and then the year after that and then it's just a uh, I don't know. My Aunt Judy called it a pause in the hallway of time. <laughs> Did your Aunt Judy smoke a lot of pot? Yeah. Well, you should try to take her advice, too. Yeah, we'll see. There's the helicopter. They'll land back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. I'll see you when I see you. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Bye, Hank. <laughs> Hank. All right. I see it.
Boy, I would be running to that. My hero. Pictures that I took, will they come up? <laughs> so many blank ones. Ah, there they are. Achievements are there in this game? Curious. 60%. Since the credits credits are wrong. Got attracted by a attacked by a raccoon. Probably didn't get rabies. Bought a disposable cam uh filled a, a disposable cam. Adopted a turtle as a pet. Listen to tape oh show shine. What the can't get back into it. Escape. And there we have it. What special fee? So the game with commentary by the team on the world at your own pace. Upload and share your photos with get them developed. That's cool. All right. Well, that was a very good game. I really enjoyed it. Um, I honestly thought there was going to be a little bit more of a plot twist than what happened, but I, I like how they kept it simple. Um, I like the story and everything. I thought it was going to be a little bit longer than that. I know it was really pretty short game, but I, I was expecting like four hours. I'm glad I was able to finish it in about three that I did though. Um, but yeah, so I'm actually going to end it here for 